guys, it's me, Angela from Appleton. That's right, Appleton, Wisconsin. Happy 10 years to my viral video. It's been a long journey, hasn't it? It's been a very interesting journey, but I'm in a really good place right now. And I just wanted to do kind of like a react to the viral video. I have never done one of these before with you guys, and it's not going to be like a high-tech video where, you know, I have it like up in the corner and I'm doing all this stuff. No, we're just going to get in front of the camera and we're going to watch it together and listen to it. And I'm going to kind of give you a little background of certain pieces of the video. I've had, you know, lots of questions asked throughout the years and also excuse the way I look. I have been in AZ for Angela mode, um, doing cameos all day. And I just got home from the park with the dogs and I thought, you know what? Tomorrow is it. Let's see what we can do. I have my little iPad here and the video is up. We're gonna, we're gonna play it together and I am going to react to it. So here we go. Hello everybody. Hi Angela. This 10 years ago. Extremely explicit. It wasn't explicit. So if you don't like swearing um, or angry people from Wisconsin, then turn, turn your, your mother effing cameras off. off now. Okay, hold on. Real quick. So when I say turn your mother effing cameras off now, I meant to say like turn your video off or skip the video or whatever. The reason why I said camera is because I recorded everything on my iPhone and I was looking at my camera at the time. And of course, people always make fun of me for that, for like saying that, but that's kind of why I said it. I just got back from Bath and Body Works and I am going to start from the very beginning. Very beginning. It was a long day that day. I'm so mad right now. You guys literally have no idea. I was shaking. I was like, shaking. For the past hour, I have been shaking to the point where I couldn't even make a video because I was so mad. Well, maybe. So let me backtrack. That was a little bit elaborated. If you guys have been watching my videos, you all know that I have been searching high and low ever since they had the candle sale. Um, yeah. Two for 20 candles at Bath and Body Works. I have been... So let me backtrack a little bit. So one thing I want to just stress here is that... When people were doing candle reviews back in the day, like 10 years ago, um, you couldn't order them online. Like they didn't come out online. Online ordering really wasn't that big back then, 10 years ago. You could order candles online, but they came out back in the day in the store first. Then they came online. And it was kind of a competition for the people in the candle community to get the latest candles, to get them home, start burning them, and to do, you know, your candle reviews and to have them uploaded on YouTube. And remember, I only had 600 subscribers at the time, and I was gearing it towards the candle community. Again, couldn't order them online, wanted the three wick because that's aesthetically what looked pleasing, you know, to everyone online at the time. For two cents, I've been searching for the winter candy apple yes. and the ice gingerbread. Yes. I have been calling my store in Appleton, Appleton, Wisconsin. I want everybody to know this, this happened, happened in Appleton. Appleton. It did happen in Appleton. I have been calling my store mm -hmm. every day for the past week wanting these two cents. Was I really calling every day? No, I wasn't calling every day. I was probably calling like once every three days. And I think I think I maybe called like a total of twice. And then that's when I said to them, you know what, when you get them in, you guys just call me. Let me know that you got the three wicks in and I'll come and I'll pick them up. I want winter candy apple, iced gingerbread. They were mm -hmm. supposed to come out launching in the store October 29th. So they were supposed to be out. They were supposed to be out. I've been calling Green Bay. I wouldn't go Appleton, to Green Bay to get them. Fond du Lac and the Outlet in Oshkosh. All four stores don't have them. That's not what makes me mad. Tick me off a little bit, but I thought, eh, they'll eventually come in. No, They will look. eventually come in. So oh, I have to calm down. And that was the problem. The problem is 
where like the whole escalation took place is that I knew they would eventually get them in. I wasn't really mad that they didn't have them in. I knew that they would eventually get them in. I was just a little pissed off that they didn't come in when they when they launched and when they said that they were supposed to get them in the store. Um, because it gets really bad here. It didn't get bad. So <laughs> I've been calling, calling, calling. They don't have them. This morning, well, actually yesterday, I called my Appleton store and I said, I you know, I hate to bother you again, but I'm calling about these candles. I and I did. said, you know, if I'm harassing you or anything in any way, please let me know. I'm like, because I can be quite persistent. I didn't say that. I said, so if you want to take my name and number, like, go right ahead and this do This is what I said. Take my name and number down. Me when you get them in. The Appleton store. I gave her my name and number, hadn't heard from her. I went to the Oshkosh store today, but before I went, I called my Appleton store again. Did I? I know I gave Maybe you my I number did. and Am everything. I? I've been looking for these two candles. I'm going to the Oshkosh store, and if you guys have my two candles, I'll hit over there. Because I was already out and about. I was amazed. She said, guess what? We have them in. I was like, what? I'm like, please, please, put... Put one of each on hold. Um, I bought two peach bellinis a while ago. Um, actually, I bought three. So I was just going to take these two peach bellinis back and exchange them. And I thought, oh, my gosh, that's awesome. So yes. I said, I'm going to go to Oshkosh first. She then told me head, they had here, them I said, I'm in. Go to Oshkosh first, and I'm going to head all the way to Appleton to get these two candles. Jen did. I want them. And I know that once they get them in, they're going to be gone. I said, please hold a three-wick iced gingerbread and a three-wick. Winter, Winter candy, candy apple. She said, will do. Will do. Jen okay, said, will do. I get to Oshkosh. My mom and I are shopping around at the outlet mall there. Um, Yankee candle. Just to let you guys know, um, traffic-wise and things, it Bath was a really busy way. day because the Packers were playing. This is the only good thing that happened. I think the Packers won. I don't know. I've been busy taking care of bitches all fucking day. I don't know where that came from. Somewhere deep okay. inside. Deep, deep inside. So, Somewhere deep. I'm like, I'm seriously Somewhere really upset. Inside. You guys are not going to believe what just happened to me. <sighs> okay, so my mom and I are at the outlet in Oshkosh. Yes. And all of a sudden I get this call. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. I got a call, okay? I got a call. Not I called. I got a call. I missed the call. I missed it. So I called it. the number back and I'm like, who is this? Someone just called me. And she's like, oh, this is Bath and Body Works. She's like, I was just wondering what time about you were coming. And I said, well, I'm in Oshkosh. We're leaving in about 15 minutes. Yes. And then we're headed to Appleton. And we so this is the, right away. the second time so I've talked to Appleton. them that day. Okay. She said, I just want to let you know that those two candles that I said that we had, they're not actually in our store. Yes. They're in an off-site store. But she was going to get them. Like an off-site store. And she's like, yeah, it'll only take us a few minutes to go and like get in them. Like in the closet. Just, just in the closet. Where we're about at the time. Just, I, think, I said, okay. You know what? I think at that point, I think she figured out that she fucked up. And that she told me that they had them in and they didn't. But she called me. Maybe to see if I was really going to come in and maybe she was praying that I wasn't going to come in. I don't know. But that would have been her time to say, you know what? They may be in the offsite store, I, which is basically like a closet somewhere hidden deep in the mall. They may be in an offsite store or they may not. How's about I go and double check and I'll save them for you for tomorrow to pick up? Would have been something that she could have said to me. I said, um, well, I said, I don't really want to inconvenience you. I, I said, didn't want to inconvenience to them. Store I didn't to want to. Candles. And she's like, oh, no, no, no. She's like, we'll just grab all of them and bring them on over. And I said, okay. I said, well, I'm leaving in about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll be there in a half an hour. Because it takes about okay, 15 no minutes problem. to get right. from Oshkosh to Appleton. I get to Appleton. I got My to mom Appleton. My does all the shopping. She spent probably like $60, I would say. Um, so we're in the store. And my mom is already shopping. So my mom is spending money. I'm looking around. I'm getting stuff. So my mom gets stuff. And I go up to the register with my, my two piece. candles. And my mom did her transaction first. By the way, back in the day, 
they had a candle for candle even exchange. So, and I know it does sound shady now, but you have to understand 10 years ago, they had that policy in place. So if I had a three wick candle from Bath and Body Works that was, let's say three years old, I could take that candle and do an even exchange for any fragrance that was in the Bath and Body Works store that was a three wick candle. So it was even exchange. It wasn't like I was doing anything shady at the time. At the time, Looking back at it now, eh, yeah, that's a little bit shady, but they had that policy in place and they made it known because they wanted people to come back to the store. And I'm like, hi, I'm like, I was the person who called. Um, can you Angela. please- Angela. Um, Angela. You know, get my candles because I'm just gonna exchange them. And the woman looked at me really funny. The blonde she's woman. Like, she, was, she was really a bitch to me. The woman, the first woman who helped me out, she had blonde hair, I don't know her name. She wasn't like a genuine bitch, but I will say that she had like an attitude. She just had like an attitude like, oh, it's been a long day. You know, oh, I don't really want to be here. It wasn't like a bitchy attitude per se towards me for any reason. I think it was just like a general, like she didn't want to be there. She wanted to be home. But she was kind of rude to me and she's like, um, I really don't know anything about that. And I'm like, Oh, no, and she no didn't. Problem. She I'm didn't like, know sure anything about it. It's not a big deal. Jen knew. She's like, okay, well, I'm going to help the person in back of you first. So she made me and wait. She's like, just wait a minute. So then Instead of saying something to Jen and goes first. She demands back and says, they're not in the store. And I'm like, oh, no, no, no. This was I after just, waiting for a really like long time. And they said a they really were long get them time. Right away and come back. She's like, we didn't leave yet. They never and left. Like, you didn't leave yet. I'm like, I called about a half an hour ago. I'm like, they should be here. And she said, I'm, we've just been really busy. They weren't busy, I though. Around, That's the problem. They weren't busy. There's barely anybody in the store. Because the store. Packers were playing. There's barely anybody in the, the store Packers because... Packers were playing. Packers are playing today, and Packers. everybody is at home watching TV where I probably should have been. And that's where they were, and the store wasn't busy <sighs> that so day. So I said, okay... She said, let me talk to my manager. So she goes back, she gets, gets talks done. to the manager, comes back out, and she's like, okay, well, the girl is leaving right now to get your candles. Um, so, yeah. The they girl kept on right giving me the runaround, and I don't understand why. I'm not going anywhere else in the mall. I'm here just for the sole purpose of getting these candles, so I'm going to wait right here. They should have just said, you know what? We haven't gone to the offsite store. Well, I shouldn't have actually gone to the mall in the first place. Like they should have caught me before I left Oshkosh. But a little tiny background to this. So my mom and I had a very short period of time where we were able to go shopping because my dad was still at home. And at that time he had just started chemotherapy and we were cooking for him pretty much every single meal. We wanted to make sure that he had a really healthy, balanced meal. Um, and he was watching the Packer game at home. So we had a very short time to do all this shopping and to go and just to get out, to get away, to get a fresh whatever, like to get our minds back on track um, just to have a break, I guess, for everything. Um, so that is the main, I guess, reason why, like, I was kind of upset. But yeah, so that's a little bit why I was, you know, a little irate that I was wasting my time because that's what I felt like. I felt like I was wasting my time where I could have been home with my dad, even though I don't watch the Packers, I could have been at home spending time with him and stuff but I thought no they have the candles and this is you know YouTube was my out at the time it was like um my stress reliever at the time and so I thought no I'll just you know I'll pick up the candles real quick I'll go and then we'll come back home she's like okay well I'll just help the next customer in back of you and I'm like okay so I'm waiting so I waited waiting, again waiting, waiting, I was waiting, waiting. waiting about 15 minutes later miss Jen, she, manager Jen, her whole face was red. And says, she was a, she was like I embarrassed. I'm so, so sorry. I honestly thought that we had your candles at our off-site off -site store. store. 
but we only have the small four ounces in. At that time, I think it was four ounces instead of like six ounces now that they have. Maybe eight ounces, I can't remember. I was mad at this point. I was mad. And I, I was angry. Calmly, and, and I was calm. Right. And she's I just want to say that too, is that um, I want to make a point to everyone that how I'm acting in this video now, I will never and have never acted that way towards a retail worker ever. So like what you see here was not what was happening in the store. What was happening in the store is what you see in my videos, how I'm really nice, you know, like in the drive through when somebody doesn't have food and I'm like really polite and I'm like, you know, oh, it's okay. Or if I go to a store and I'm like recording and they don't have, you know, something in and I'm like dealing with a retail worker, I'm super, super kind. So this was my way out. And you guys cannot tell me that you have not had something like this happen to you before where someone made a mistake and it was an honest mistake and it was not a big deal. And you were very polite to the retail worker, but when you got home, you were a little bit upset. That's kind of what happened to me. I was a little bit upset when everything happened and I thought, what a great idea for a YouTube video because my candle community was watching and I did stuff like this. Like I complained a lot on YouTube and that was kind of like my niche. But that's not how I am in real life. No. She's like, um, what I can do, she said, is I can call around to the up. And I said, no. I said, I've been calling Fond du Lac. And I didn't Oshkosh, say it like that. I said, Mountain. oh, I said, I've been calling everywhere. Um, and they just, they don't have the candles they, in. You I know. I've been calling all the stores. No one I only came in. because you guys like, called me. I was just me. so I'm, you know. you told me this morning that you had them. And I came all the way from Oshkosh to get them. I mean, and 15 like, minutes or what whatever. Mean, have them. And she's like, we, we just don't have them. She's like, I'm sorry. It's my mistake. She did apologize. So she said I'm she like, was sorry. Okay. I'm like, well, I guess I'll get my peach Bellini candles. Because they were sitting on the counter and, and the woman had, she's like, okay, had so put she them in the back already. Around, gets my candles. Yeah. And she's packaging them up. I'm like. Okay, I'm like, I don't want to be rude or anything. I said, but I think I deserve something. And I didn't I'm say like, that. It's a free item. I didn't say I didn't, I think I deserve something. I said, because there was a mistake made here, is there any way that I could get like, uh, you know, something like, and at the time they were giving out like little hand sanitizers or something like that. And I thought the least they could do was like, give me, you know, something like 20% off of your next purchase or here, have this little hand sanitizer, or you know what, like, um, we'll, we'll, you know, give you a free shipping or anything, something, anything, because I would not have gone to Appleton if it wasn't for them calling me. So I would have gone home to my father and spent time with my kids who were there with him. You know what I mean? So that's kind of where like all this stems from. It's not that they didn't have the candles in. It's not that, you know, all of that kind of stuff. It's that I was wasting my time. I wasted my time. Or a gift certificate or something for what just happened here. I said, because I have been on you guys for a week to try to get these candles. Mm -hmm. And with you telling me that they were here and I came and I carted myself and my mother. You guys know how my mom is. To Appleton to get these mother effing candles. But I didn't say that. I didn't I'm say that. This in my head. I this thought it in my head in and my I head. came home and I recorded and I it. Very pleasant face I was, was pleasant. <sighs> so this, you know this is the reaction. Jen says to me. You know what this goddamn Jen says to me? I can give you some coupons and put these in your bag. And I said, Jen, I have every single coupon that Bath and Body Works has. I said, I have about 10 of them. I don't need any more coupons. I, didn't need coupons. I said, can you give me something else? Something? Okay, that sounds really she entitled. My original but yeah. Receipt. From my peach bellinis. Peach bellinis. Takes it out of the bag and says, There's an 800 number on the top of this receipt. Which really and made when me you mad. Call, you'll get a live person and you can explain to them what happened, and I'm sure they'll be able to help you. 
And at that time, I was irate and I was upset and I just said thank you and I left. So I didn't scream what I scream in the video to you guys now. It was something. And I said, a live, a live person? person? Who, Who the, the fuck, fuck do you think, think I'm, I'm talking, talking to now? But that was in my head. Am I talking to? Okay, right after that, did you hear that little like gasp? So that was my daughter, my youngest daughter. And she knew also at the time that I was like making these funny videos. And that's her laughing in the background because it's meant to be funny. It's meant to entertain. So you who is not really here? I are didn't you reality? say that to her, because you guys. I thought you were a live person. I would never are say that to a, a person. person. I would. I, I love that to a person. Word. I would never say that to a person. And she looked at me and said, I'm sorry, ma'am, I can't help you. Yeah. And I said, give me my candles I now. didn't say that. And she kept I said, okay, I'll just I take said, my candles and I'll leave. I want That's to leave okay. This store. Give me my candles now. Meaning, my, my peach, peach bellinis. bellinis. So she gave me my, my peach bellinis. And, and I was on my merry fucking way. And that bitch, Jen, you know what I'm going to do, Jen? I'm calling your district manager. I did call the district I'm manager. I'm what happened and what I you did. did and how you fucked up. Okay. I, I did call the district manager because, like I said, at the time, I feel like it could have been handled differently. I feel like they could have said to me when I was in Oshkosh, and remember, they called me... They could have said to me, we can't find them, don't come in. But instead, they said, we're going in the back to get them. We know that we have them. Because supposedly it said it on the computer. I think it said that they had the one wick on the computer, but not the three wick. And I made it very clear that I wanted the three wick. <sighs> I'm telling them how that other blonde girl was rude to me. I'm telling them, Jen... So I basically said, when I did call the district manager, I just said, hey, I'm a YouTuber. I do candle reviews. This happened on this day. You know, I'm upset about it, um, you know, and I just feel like it shouldn't have been handled that way. Like nobody should have called me to let me know that they had an item in. And what can we do to rectify the situation? Oh, John, your ass. Your ass is going to get reamed. Did it get reamed? I don't know. It was just a really, really bad situation. It was a bad situation. Badly. It didn't end too badly, though, did it? And I'm done now. I was done. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Please share this video with everybody so we can know. Have Tyler Oakley. Know Tyler Oakley Wisconsin shared it. The whole United States that Jen from Appleton needs to check her shit out. Bye. Bye.